Hey everyone, it's Lady Kaka 101 here with Brass Class Phoebe. And the reason why she's the box is because I, well obviously I got her online because she's not in stores anymore. She's from like 2006 or so. And normally I like to get in box dolls to review you with you guys, but um, I only had so much money on my card because I got a prepaid card. And I had $25 and it's not really like that easy to find in box dolls on eBay for like under $25. Like in my last review, I said that I got that Stylin in the City clearly for $1.25, like $1.25, but that was honestly like a fluke. Like there's no way that could happen again. And this doll was literally brand new. She was just deboxed from her box and her accessories are still in their like little packaging pieces. So I thought I would review her with you guys. So yeah. And usually I have like the back of the box, it came in as the backdrop. So since she didn't come with a box, I'm just using Celebrate and Yasmin's. So I hope you don't mind that. So let's just jump right in and end the review and show you how beautiful this Phoebe is. So here she is. Something that I thought was really strange that I actually didn't notice until I saw her on the listing. Um, Phoebe always has a little beauty mark right above her lip here. But this one doesn't. It's really odd. And like most people probably wouldn't think this is Phoebe because that's how you identify a Phoebe. Same way how you identify Yasmin. Yasmin always has the beauty mark under her eye. So it's kind of weird. I guess she put on so much foundation that it covered her beauty mark. But whatever, she's still beautiful nonetheless. And she has these gorgeous green eyes and very light makeup. It's like a very faint pastel pink and then like this salmon -y lipstick with lip liner around it and she has an open mouth smile, very cute. And her hairstyle is the typical hair color for Phoebe which is um, a reddish auburn color with black streaks throughout it and it's really cute but simple style. She has side sweat bangs and her the top portion of her hair is pulled back with hair wrapping around the ponytail which is super cute, I love it. She has on these really cute silver and red earrings. And this adorable little pink hoodie that has a little number 10 on the front and has little pockets here that are stitch closed but obviously if they're that small you can't really put anything in them like normal hoodies. And she has little strings here and a hood which actually like opens and closes with velcro so it'd be easier to put the clothes on. And her skirt is this green camo print and it goes like down to almost her ankles and she has a little black belt with a silver buckle in the middle. It's super like 2006 style but it's so cute I love it. And she has on these not really flats but not really heels they're kind of like an in-between and they are in pink. Super cute. And she also comes with this denim purse which was actually like still pinned to her skirt but I removed it just now so um, this doll was literally just taken out of the box and put on display. That's how perfect and mint condition she is. Moving on to Phoebe's accessories, she has these slick school supplies. So let's open this little package up and show you what she's going to bring to school today. Much like myself, and I'm sure a lot of people my same age will relate, Phoebe brings headphones to school so she can block out the tweebles if they try talking to her. And it's a super cute accessory, I love it. We actually like like plug into the earring holes, which I thought was such a cute detail because like they can actually like stay on as if she's actually listening to music, which is super cute. And they are done in green and silver and you can actually like hold it in her hand. I love this. It's like such a cute accessory and I'm definitely gonna use it a lot. Here's her next accessory and may I just say how cute is this little book? It's actually like a book too, it's not hard plastic. And those are all real pages, they are blank of course. It's so adorable and I'm definitely going to use this in Bratz World and stuff like that. It's such a cute and realistic looking accessory, it's a chemistry book. Super adorable. So while she's in the library, she can be studying her chemistry and listening to her tunes with her iPod. And if Phoebe needs to call Roxy or any of her other friends, she can just use her cute little cell phone. And just like any other Bratz accessories, it's very realistic looking and super adorable. I told my mom I wanted the iPhone 6 for my birthday. She doesn't listen to me. 
here's the last accessory, which I'm assuming is a pencil. Um, back in like 2006, me and my friends used to actually have like pencils like this, except they were like feather pencils instead of like butterfly ones. And so yeah, so it's very true to the time. And this one is transparent purple and there's a little butterfly on top. It's super cute. And this one, it says exclusive back to school sharpener and two pencils for you. Here's a look at the pencils that Phoebe came with. They are pink and green, which actually match her outfit, both of them actually. So I'm guessing that was a common theme with all the Bratz class dolls, like with, if Chloe's was like blue. Her outfit, I'm guessing hers came in blue, etc. And they also have a bee at the end with wings, that's obviously for brats. And there's a little look at the pencil case, which matches it. I mean, not pencil case, sorry, pencil sharpener. And they are super cute and perfect for back to school. And when Phoebe is done with her first class and she's about to go to her next class, she can simply put all of her books and other accessories in her little cute purse. After chemistry class, Phoebe has gym class. So we better change her quick so the teacher doesn't get upset. Alright, Phoebe's all changed for gym class and she's looking, of course, super stylin. Starting off with her shirt underneath, it is in this olive green color with some pink stitching details around the neck and the waist and uh, shoulders. And it has a bee with wings and a halo. And she has on this black sweater with little pink stripes going down the arms and little pink stitching details all around with again a little hood around here and strings and little plastic zippers again with every brat's outfit and accessories it's very realistic looking and it's even made with like actual material that a sweater and shirt would be made out of so very awesome love it and she has on these really cute gray short shorts which are made out of a cotton material with some more pink stripes on the side, and little strings here, and it's actually kind of elastic -y around the waist like a normal pair of shorts like these would be, so that's cool. And she has on these white tube socks with little pink stripes around the top, and these cute little green, gray, pink, and white sneakers. Super adorable. With Phoebe's super cute gym outfit and headphones, you can pretend that she's going on a jog around Stylesville. Don't forget to brush Phoebe's hair after gym class because she still has other classes to go to after. Want to look super styling for the rest of the day? So yeah guys, that was my review on the Bratz class Phoebe doll. I'm sorry again that she wasn't in the box, but you know what can you do? Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed her. I can definitely like see these dolls being like a lot of fun when they came out. Like these dolls are really a lot of fun to play with and they come with so much stuff that you can recreate like so many cool like imaginative play moments I guess with them. Um, it's such a shame that they're so rare though otherwise I would have gotten way more but yeah I hope to get um, Chloe and Yasmin sometime soon because they would be awesome to have as well. I really like the look of studious dolls for some reason, which is ironic because I don't really like school myself, but I like the look of like studious looking dolls. Like Brass Class is one of my favorite lines because of that. So yeah, I don't know why, I just really like them for some reason. But um, yeah, so comment, rate, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye guys!